Hello guys, in this video we will see what is the virtual DOM in ReactJS, why React uses the virtual DOM and what are the advantages of using virtual DOM. Also we will start from the basic topics like what is DOM and updating steps of the DOM. So if you have any doubts or if you don't know anything about the DOM or the virtual DOM, I will assure you after watching this video all of your doubts will be cleared and also you can comment your more doubts in the comment section. I will definitely reply it. So let's start from the beginning. So what is DOM? DOM stands for Document Object Model and in simple terms, it is a structured representation of the HTML elements that are present in a web page or a web app. So let's take an example. In here we have one HTML file where lots of tags are present like HTML, head, body, h1 and p. But our JavaScript can't understand what is the meaning of this tag. So what is does that? It's create one tree-like structure where each and every tags represent a node in the tree. Just like we have one tags body, so similarly we have one node body inside our document object model or the DOM. So our inside our body you can see we have h1 and p tag. So always or similar to our tags in the HTML page, we have always have one h1 tag and p tag. So the HTML structure or HTML file whole structure is represented differently in our document object model. But our JavaScript can't understand the HTML file stack, but our JavaScript can understand the document object model. And with the help of the document object model, JavaScript manipulate the DOM and by the manipulation of the DOM, our content of our web page changes or updated as per our requirement. So the DOM is nothing but a different representation of our HTML elements which can be understood by our JavaScript. Let's see how we update the DOM. So every time there is a change in the state of our application, the DOM gets updated to reflect the change in the UI. And the true most popular or the most easy way to update our DOM is the gate element by ID method and gate element by class method. So let's take an example. So in this code, we are just taking one node or one element and changing its text to updated value. So just see this document object model, we have one div with the my div id. So this code is does that this code uh, take this node and changes its text value from hello to the updated value. So you can see this is a simple document updation or the simple DOM manipulation. But what is does behind the scenes that there's lots of steps to manipulate the DOM. So after writing this code, the first thing that will do that the browser parse the HTML to find the node with this ID. And after the browser parse the ID, and after it parse the ID, it removes the child element of the specific element. So all of the child element that present inside this node or this element will be removed completely. And then update the element or the DOM with the updated value. So in our case, this whole my divs child element if there is any child element present all of the child element will be firstly removed and then the my div element text will be updated with the updated value just we have provided here and after that recalculate the css for the parent and child nodes so after that the child node will be added here newly created child element and after that it's update the layout of the dom and finally traverse the tree and paint it on the screen or the browser display so you can see just to update one element there is a lots of steps and just suppose there is one web app or the web page where lots of lots of menu bomb manipulation are present and we need to make more interactive web application nowadays so in that case there is a lots of performance issue by using the normal DOM manipulation so the DOM updating is not a easier way or the more efficient way and this is why the ReactJS bring the concept of the virtual DOM. But see what is the virtual DOM? Uh, so React uses the virtual DOM which is just like a lightweight copy of the actual DOM or a re virtual representation of the DOM. So you can say that this is our actual DOM and this is our virtual DOM just like a virtual representation of our DOM and for every object that exists in the original DOM, there is an object for the React DOM. Just like our DOM is actually representing every tags in, in the form of node, our actual DOM is just represent or the copied lightweight delete in the virtual DOM. And it is exactly the same, but it does not have the power to directly change the layout of the document. 
obviously the virtual dom cannot change our whole document object model of the dom directly or manipulating dom is slow that we see previously or the previous slide but manipulating the virtual dom is very 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 first and that's what makes the react so first with the help of the virtual dom so each time there is a change in the state of our application in react the virtual dom gets updated the first instead of the real dom in the previous slide we have seen that the react has a virtual dom which is the virtual representation of our actual dom but behind the scenes the react maintains two virtual doms one is the pre-update version and one is the updated version so each time there's any update in the any element or any component the react dom maintained two versions one is the updated version and one is the pre-updated version and after making these two versions the react dom will firstly compare these two versions of the virtual dom and check which things or which of the elements need to be updated and this process is called diffing and you can see after comparing these two we can found that these two components is need to be updated in our actual DOM because this only these two elements are updated and anything left is just same as that you can say we learned that updating the DOM is very cost effective way but why we are maintaining two virtual DOMs in the react why it is not affecting our performance the answer is the virtual DOM is not our original DOM Please note it, our virtual DOM is not our actual DOM, it is a virtual representation of our DOM. So the virtual DOM is a structure or in a way of the JavaScript object. If you know the JavaScript object with the key value pair, our virtual DOM is just like that JavaScript object. And you can know the updating the JavaScript object is a very easy way or the very easy way to update the JavaScript object so our virtual dom operation is very quick and very easy so in that case we can actually maintain two virtual doms one is a pre-update and one is the updated version okay so after finding which of the elements need to be updated what our react dom is does that it compares or it just see which elements need to be updated and just react quickly updated these only two elements without changing or re-rendering anything in the DOM it just updated these two elements so this is how the react will efficiently update the DOM with the help of the virtual DOM and the whole process is called reconciliation okay so lots of things we have seen just of now so let's take a recap so DOM is a structured representation of the HTML element that are present in the web app or the web page and updating DOM in the, the large web application or the web page is very slow and the react virtual DOM takes two copies of the DOM one is a pre-updated and the other one is the updated virtual DOM it's compared to virtual DOMs and find which elements need to be only updated instead of the whole DOM and then react DOM updates the required update elements in the browser so this is how our whole web application or the whole react application updated the DOM in an efficient way so I think this is all for this video and this is all for the virtual DOM. So if you still have any doubts or any questions then comment it down and I will definitely reply it. And also if you like this video then click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel. I will upload more informative videos like this and I also started one react.js playlist course. So never forget to check this out and please subscribe. So see you in the next video. Bye bye.